Please. Easy chances. You need to score the easy ones. How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. And as you guys can see, there's a space in the squad because tonight, yeah, they dropped the new promo. It's like two for one pack, stuff like that. But what I'm more interested in is the players they've released. Not only SPCs, which we will cover over time, and the objectives, also these brand new cards. Now, the stats. Oh my god, look at this card, man. Can't see because of my face. Can you, oh, you can guess who it is because it's the title, Jesus. Uh, yeah, Lissandro Lopez, he is back. And with these cards, you got like some Tevez, you got this, that, the other. And Lissandro Lopez is the reviewee today. He is back. I've got to tell you, he could be back with a bang. Look at some of these stats. They're incredible. They literally kind of push it up to the meta right now. But I want to see if he's that effective in game. So today, we're going to find out. And if you do enjoy this, um, it says special item, but they're basically Copa Libertadores cards. If you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Uh, a thousand likes would be sensational. I, I doubt we'll hit that, but if we could hit a thousand likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here and click the notification bell should you do so. In terms of my socials, Marshall89YT on the Instagram, Marshall89HD on the Twitter. Make sure you check out both of them and I stream every single day on Twitch.tv. Switch to uh, no, no, no. Twitch. Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Marshall89HD. Now, as for Lissandro Lopez, he's in the squads. Alongside Crespo, give him that strong link. Uh, Tevez also has one, but this card's... It just takes me back to the days when FIFA was fun, man. You, you guys remember Lopez, Lissandro Lopez, when uh, he was literally awesome? Lads, it takes me back to that. Now, you could say he's got high to high work rates and he's only got 80 stamina. But what I will see is if you have to stay forward on him, it shouldn't really matter too, too much. What I'm going to notice in game, possibly the stamina, but we're going to try it out regardless. Now, in terms of price, 425 is what I bought him for right now. Uh, I, I'm not so sure it's updated on the website yet, uh, but um, yeah, lads, I, I bought him for um, 425. So that's the going price, uh, going price right now. If I go compare price, he's a little bit more than that right now. Possibly, hopefully, I don't lose coins. I, I lose coins in every single review. But in terms of Lissandro Lopez. He does look like he's back. High to high work rates, they're good. It keeps them moving, it keeps them flowing, it keeps them going up, going down, going sideways. They're always on the run, and I love that for movement and whatnot. Right for primarily four star skills, four star weak parts, which is very, very good. As for the attribute details, look at these, man. You've seen them on your screen already. Just look at some of them from the 80 acceleration to 90 sprint speed. I don't know how that doesn't bring you 89 pace, but uh, yeah, he's got 90 in total. The shooting is 90 as well. I've got to say, some of those stats from attacking positioning to finishing, 92, 94, 90 shot power, long shots, it's 82 plus 10, 92. Uh, volleys, 81, penalties to 93. The passing, I am kind of worried about the passing, but I'm not at the same time. 85 in terms of vision, 86 short pass, 80 long pass, he's also got 75 crossing if he does like drift into the wide areas, but I don't want him to be crossing the ball. He's got 88 curve as well. In terms of dribbling, 85 agility. 87 balance, 85 reactions, 91 ball control, 87 dribbling, and 95 composure. Heading accuracy, 86. Now, you might say he's quite the minute of a 5.9. Lads, he's got 98 jumping, 80 stamina, which is a worry to this card. He's got 94 strength. He should be like the Bloody Hulk. And um, 75 aggression. So, you look at them. I did put Marksman on him because I want to boost the agility up. It's only 85. Uh, the shooting, it's already great. But what? What harm is it to make it even better? And with Marksman, lads, he actually goes to a 94-rated striker. So I'm very excited to see what he's like. So in-game, this team actually plays like so as you're about to see on screen. It plays like this. It plays like this. Lissandro Lopez, Rooney, Gavin, and Crespo, uh, Morales, Acuna, Paul Scholes. What I will do is swap these two round, I believe. So um, I'll swap them two round right now, but... Uh, it looks like a good team. The instructions are stay central. That is it. I'm going to have to stay forward if his stamina is effective during the game. So, uh, lads, with that being said, let's test this card out. Would I like to save changes? Yes, I would. Lissandro Lopez, is it the return of the king? We're going to find out. So, with that being said, let's get in the clips. Let's see how he does. Come on. Come on, two. Oh. Little back heel. Lissandro from there. Not quite, not quite. He didn't really have the power on that shot, man. Oh, that's good movements. Lissandro Lopez. Boom, baby! Let's go, man! 
Good, good uh, speed on that drag back as well, you know what I'm saying? With the improved agility that I've given from 85 to 90, that was a really fast drag back close to his body as well. Dude, that's a powerful finish. Even though there's no keeper in there, he took him out. I like his haircut. Crespo. Oh, I couldn't find Rooney. Lissandro. Liss oh, please, strength, strength, strength. Oh. Lissandro, please. I'll do. Chips, chips on. I, I can't click with him right now. I really can't. I don't know what's happening. Come on. Come on. Oh, why are you trying to hit the ball? No. Oh, God, man. I, I don't deserve that. This card's just not a one striker formation card. I don't deserve that. I, 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 so frustrating, boys. We're 4 0 down this match, and uh, that goes in. I don't deserve it. Cross. Come on, you're good in the air. Free header. Free header and Lissandro, bro. Oh, he's done something, boys. Oh, come on. Give us a break, game. Tonight, the game's just been on top of me, man. Oh, this time, please. This time, please. He's actually backed off me. Lissandro, look. What was that save? Come on, please. You stop run. Da, 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 da. Lissandro Lopez. He, he scored three trash goals. The goals he scored for me have all been trash. Every single one. He's missed chances. Do you know where you drag it back and shoot like near post? He's missed the easy chances. Normally on this game, and Mbappe would bury it, and Neymar would bury it. Players with very high finish and high shot power, high long shots, would all bury them. Lissandro just doesn't for some reason. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please. Easy chances. He needs to the easy ones. So there we have it, lads. And I mean, you see that last chance? Any striker in the game should score that. Any striker in the game, you open up your body with a stronger foot. You bend, you whip, you curve, you swerve. They should be goals. Neymar does it. Mbappe does it. Ronaldo does it. All these top tier players do it on this game. Lissandro Lopez with 94 finishing, going to 99 with Marksman. 90 shot power, going to 95 with Marksman. And um, composure of 95. He should bag it every single time. He didn't score the easy chances for me, which is alarm bells. Absolute alarm bells. I mean, you look at his stats and you think this card's lights out. You use it in game, you think this card's lights on. I mean, it's not that good. Um, it's a good card. I can admire him what he's capable of in game. It's just, it wasn't, you know when it clicks and it just goes... Can you hear that? When it clicks? Uh, it just wasn't clicking for me tonight. I can, I, I can acknowledge that. If I wasn't playing well, I was not playing well. I wasn't playing well. So I can acknowledge that. And uh, I can admire this card for what he does offer you on the pitch. It's just some of these stats don't make sense. They don't make sense. No way. Was that last chance where I did open up my body? I finessed it. Always do that, by the way. It normally always goes in. And I don't know how it went wide. I honestly, I always hit the goalkeeper or score. <laughs> I've got no idea how we put it wide. No idea whatsoever. So for overall rating for Lissandro Lopez, um, I said I like to start the video as the king returns. He's returned with a whimper, boys. It's like the Lion King. You know when he goes back to take the, the, the throne or whatever it is? The, the, the Pride Rock. This guy fell off Pride Rock. I mean, I, come on, man. It, it should be better. So in terms of overall rating for a 91 rated card, you expect 9.5 plus, 9.2 plus. Lads, I'm giving it 8.8. 8.8 is what I'm going to give him today. Um, he didn't perform to his attributes. He didn't perform uh, to my liking. And I didn't perform. Like I said, I can uh, acknowledge that. What's good about this card then? Uh, pace. He's fast. He's got good acceleration, good sprint speed. Uh, his finishing was hit and miss. Mainly miss. And I can't put that as a pro because it was mainly miss. Um, so I'll not put any of them. So movements is definitely one. He makes great runs on this game. And uh, movement will definitely be one. So you've got acce uh, pace. Acceleration, sprint speed, you've got movement on the cards, passing not so much, uh, ball control, it's normally quite good, it's normally quite good with the card, so um, yeah, ball control, dribble in general, 
it isn't too bad. The agility on the drag back isn't too bad either. So just keep that in mind. Heading. He's good at heading. Getting to the header. Heading accuracy, not so much. Stamina wasn't really too much of an issue with the cards, especially on the 4-1-2-1-2 formation that would stay forward on. It wasn't too much of an issue. He is strong. 94 strength. He is strong. So that is definitely a pro for this card. And of course, four star skills, four star weight. But what's not liked? Well, what's not to like about that? So to speak. So 8.8 .8 is what I'm going to give him today. Value for coins. What's he going for right now in the market, boys? Because earlier, it wasn't really worth in the market. It hasn't updated as um, I was doing this. 400,000. I, I pay 160k for this card. It's not worth 400,000 in my eyes. 365 on the Xbox One. 430 on the PlayStation. Uh, no, 430 on the PC, sorry. Um, I'm going to give him a 7. A seven. Now I know he's cheap, I know his stats look incredible, but you need to use these cards in game to get a, full, a true feel for the cards. And with Sandra Lopez, I was excited to use his cards. And you will see my excitement to start the video and then my excitement depletes throughout the video because Lopez wasn't, I don't know, playing to his truest abilities. I wasn't either, but I could be FIFA'd out from the day. I've played a lot of games today and uh, stuff like that. As for enjoyment, it, which is, uh, it's a, sad, it's a sad thing to say. I'm going to give him 8 for that. Uh, for champ status, he'll be a starter or a sub. But I don't think anyone's paying uh, 400k for a sub. So, yeah, he'll be a starter for me. And lads, just to kind of cap, he's a striker. Yesterday, color of review, he scored three shots in three games. Lopez, Lopez review, striker, three goals in three games. And that's what he did get. The match ratings you can see down below as well. As for links with this cards. Tevez, who's a strong link to this card, of course. He's got some very good links from icons to perfect links. Uh, perfect links ain't that great, by the way. Sigal is probably the perfect, perfect link for this card at 79 rated. Strong links. You got Salvio. Salvio's a very good one. I think Tevez is one or two. So um, Tevez is one to show, but actually, is Tevez not a strong link? Tevez is a strong link. Don't know what I'm going on about right there. Oh, oh is he? Is he or is he not? Where, where's Tevez on this game, lads? Where's Tevez lie on this game? I have to search Tevez just to see um, if they changed his club, if they added a club into the game. It's not even on the database, boys. Uh, I don't know what's going on right now with this game. But uh, he does have certain good links on this game, does Lissandro Lopez. But uh, none of that really matters if he doesn't perform in game. As for the, the pros, I've been through those. The traits. The traits, the traits, the traits. Right. As for the traits, boys, let's see if he's actually got any. Outside foot shots. Did he have an outside foot shot for me? I don't think so. And uh, leadership. I don't know what leadership does. I've got no idea what that trait does. So he's got outside foot, foot shot, uh, outside foot shot and leadership as is to traits. As for the over 100k, under 100k, you can probably see what I, what I think just by that. Uh, passing. I'll give a seven. Seven for passing. Shooting, I'm giving an 8. It should be a 10, but I'm giving an 8 because he's in, he's quite inconsistent in front of goal. Uh, physical, that would be a solid 8 as well. His stamina is the only one that lets him down that category. And the dribbling would be a 7 as well, even though it should be brilliant, lads. It just isn't that fluid, if you know what I'm saying. In terms of skill moves, it's 4-star. Weak foot is 4-star. And his work rates are high, high. In terms of the preferred foot, it is right and he is 5 foot 9 tall. Key pro. Probably the movements. I'm going to say movement is the key pro with his cards, and I'll stick by that. And the key con. Ah, uh -huh. key con. Where, where, like, he's got a lot of things going against him. I just, I don't believe these are true stats. I, I don't believe these are true stats. Like, you will score bangers. You will score bangers with his cards. Uh, but it could be like. Five shots out of ten. It could be four shots out of ten. You know what I'm saying? In one game, I had ten shots. Scored one goal, he has six on target, so that kind of speaks volumes for itself. And in terms of the best chemistry, I would say marksman for the card. It takes him to a grand total of a 94 range strike and 92 left forwards, uh, center forwards, 91 cam and a 91 right winger. And lads, that's where the review draws to an end. I've got the same haircut as this guy, Lissandro Lopez. But he, he let me down. Let me down. But lads, hope you have enjoyed the review regardless. Hope you had a great day today. And if you have enjoyed this review, it's give you an insight into the brand new Copa Limit to Dores kind of promo with these brand new cards. Um, hope this give you an idea of Alessandro Lopez. I don't even know what to call these cards. It says special item in-game underneath the player. It's Copa Limit to Dores. 
in terms of the classification of the card. I've got no idea what to call this review, but if you have enjoyed, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Like I said, I hope you had a great day of the day. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash marshall9hd tomorrow, where we'll be live. Also playing a bit football manager on there. Who likes football manager? Come on through. But lads, if you have enjoyed, a like would be appreciated. Have a great day. Have a great, what day is it? Friday, Saturday morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you all next time.